Do all brain cells work the same way? There are two basic types of cells in the nervous system. Neurons that carry messages and the support cells that both feed and protect them. In the central nervous system comprised of the brain and spinal cord these support cells are known as neuroglial or glial cells. These cells perform a variety of functions in maintaining the health of the neurons of the brain. It is estimated that glial cells actually comprise about 90% of the cells in the nervous system. How has the classification of organisms changed throughout history? From Aristotle, 384 to 322 b. C. E. to Carolus Linnaeus, 1707 to 1778, scientists who proposed the earliest. Classification systems divided living organisms into two kingdoms plants and animals. During the 19th century, Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919, proposed establishing a third kingdom protistophore. Simple organisms that did not appear to fit in either the plant or animal kingdom. In 1969 R. H. Whitaker. 1920 to 1980, proposed a system of classification based on five different kingdoms. The groups Whitaker suggested were the bacteria group Prokaryotae, originally called Munira, Protista, Fungi, for multicellular forms of non-photosynthetic heterotrophs and single cellulid yeasts, Plantae, and Animalia. This classification system is still widely accepted. However a six kingdom system of classification was proposed in 1977 by Carl Woese, 1928. The groups proposed in the six kingdom approach are Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. Both for bacteria, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. In 1981 Woese proposed a classification system based on three domains. A level of classification higher than kingdom bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. The domain eukarya is subdivided into four kingdoms, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. What is the difference between magnification and resolution? Magnification making smaller objects seem larger is the measure of how much an object is enlarged. Resolution is the minimum distance that two points can be separated and still be seen as two distinct points. What disease is caused by protists of the genus Trypanosoma? Species of Trypanosoma are the cause of sleeping sickness, East Coast Fever, and Chagas's disease. All of these diseases are common in tropical areas. The trypanosomes that cause these diseases are transmitted by biting insects, such as the tsetse fly.
What is replacing natural cork for wine stoppers? Plastic corks are replacing natural cork for wine stoppers. During the 1980s and early 1990s bad cork was traced to the fungal contaminant 2,4,6 trichloroanisole, TCA. TCA flattens the taste of the wine, removing the flavors the winemaker worked hard to produce. Additionally, the demand for wine in bottles has grown faster than the supply of cork from cork oaks. Although natural cork is still used for the best and most expensive wines those that are aged for 20 or more years plastic cork is becoming widely used at the lower end of the wine industry. Most plastic corks use a high-grade plastic that eliminates taste and odor problems of contaminated natural cork. What are the four major types of tissue? A tissue, from the Latin texera, meaning to weave, is a group of similar cells that perform a specific function. The four major types of tissue are epithelial, connective, muscle, and nerve. How do bacteria reproduce? Bacteria reproduce asexually, by binary fission a process in which one cell divides into two similar cells. First the circular, bacterial DNA replicates. And then a transverse wall is formed by an ingrowth of both plasma membrane and the cell wall. How is petrified wood formed? Petrified wood is formed when water containing dissolved minerals, such as calcium carbonate, CACO3, and silicate, infiltrate wood or plants. The foreign materials either replace or enclose the organism. So the structural details of the plant are retained. The process takes thousands of years. Botanists find these types of fossils to be very important since they allow for the study of the internal structure of extinct plants. After time passes, the plant or wood seems to have turned to stone because the original form and structure are retained, but it does not actually turn into stone. What is a limiting factor in an ecosystem? A limiting factor is any environmental factor that restricts the ecological niche of an organism. Limiting factors are based on the law of supply and demand. Those factors, resources whose supply is less than demand can influence the distribution of species within a community. Examples of limiting factors include soil, minerals, temperature extremes, and water availability.
How do plants maximize exposure to light? The leaves of many plants move. Leaves often orient themselves perpendicularly to sunlight. Thereby increasing the amount of light absorbed for photosynthesis. Leaves also form unusual patterns of layering. Called mosaics, that minimize the shading of leaves by each other. What are some examples of genetic engineering in plants? Genetically engineered plants include transgenic crop plants that are resistant to herbicides used in weed control. These transgenic crops carry genes for resistance to herbicides such that all plants in a field are killed with the exception of the modified plant. Transgenic soybeans, corn, cotton, canola, papaya, rice. And tomatoes are used by many farmers in the United States. Plants resistant to predatory insects have also been genetically engineered. What seedless, vascular plant played a role in early photography? Prior to the invention of flash bulbs, photographers used flash powder that consisted almost entirely of dried spores from club mosses of the genus Lycopodium. What is an estuary? Estuaries are places where fresh water streams and rivers meet the sea. The salinity of such areas is less than that of the open ocean but greater than that of a typical river. So organisms living in or near estuaries have special adaptations. Estuaries are rich sources of invertebrates such as clams, shrimps, and crabs, as well as fishes such as striped bass, mullet, and menhaden. Unfortunately, estuaries are also popular locations for human habitation and businesses. Contamination from shipping, household pollutants, and power plants which are carried to the sea by rivers and streams, threaten the ecological health of many estuaries. What are the differences between the 15 major phyla of protists? The great diversity among the protists has made their grouping and classification difficult. Characteristics used to classify protists include mode of locomotion, presence or absence of flagella and cilia, body form and coverings, pigmentation and the ability to conduct photosynthesis, mode of nutrition, and whether the organism is unicellular or multicellular. Which protist is an indicator of polluted water? Euglenoids are unicellular flagellates, 
many euglenoids are capable of photosynthesis and are autotrophic. They are commonly found in freshwater ponds and puddles. Others do not carry on photosynthesis and are heterotrophic. Often found in water with large amounts of organic material. Euglenoids frequently serve as bioindicators and are found in large numbers in polluted waters. What are the only sessile crustaceans? Barnacles are the only sessile, permanently attached to one location, crustaceans. They were described by the 19th century naturalist Louis Agassiz, 1807-1873. As nothing more than a little shrimp like animal standing on its head in a limestone house and licking food into its mouth. Accumulations of barnacles may become so great that the speed of a ship may be reduced by 30% to 40%. Necessitating dry docking the ship to remove the barnacles. What is a subspecies? A subspecies is another way of describing a distinct population or variety. This term is used to describe the generation of hybrids that can occur when two different populations meet and interbreed. What is a spliceosome? A spliceosome is a structure, comprised of RNA and protein. That is responsible for RNA splicing in the eukaryotic nucleus. Why is liquid water more dense than ice? Pure, liquid water is most dense at 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit 3.98 degrees Celsius, and decreases in density as it freezes. The water molecules in ice are held in a relatively rigid geometric pattern by their hydrogen bonds. Producing an open, porous structure. Liquid water has fewer bonds, therefore. More molecules can occupy the same space, making liquid water more dense than ice. In what ways are gymnosperms economically important? Gymnosperms account for approximately 75% of the world's timber and a large amount of the wood pulp used to make paper. In North America the white spruce, Pasea glauca, is the main source of pulpwood used for newsprint and other paper. Other spruce wood is used by to manufacture violins and similar string instruments because the wood produces a desired resonance. The Douglas fir, Pseudotsuga menziesii, provides more timber than any other north. American tree species and produces some of the most desirable lumber in the world. The wood is strong and relatively free of knots.
Uses for the wood include house framing, plywood production. Structural beams, pulpwood, railroad ties, boxes, and crates. Since most naturally occurring areas of growth have been harvested, the Douglas fir is being grown in managed forests. The wood from the redwood Sequoia sempervirens is used for furniture. Fences, posts, some construction, and has various garden uses. In addition to the wood and paper industry, gymnosperms are important in making resin and turpentine. Resin, the sticky substance in the resin canals of conifers, is a combination of turpentine, a solvent, and a waxy substance called rosin. Turpentine is an excellent paint and varnish solvent but is also used to make deodorants. Shaving lotions, medications, and limonene lemon flavoring used in the food industry. Resin has many uses, it is used by baseball pitchers to improve their grip on the ball and by batters to improve their grip on the bat, Violinists apply resin to their bows to increase friction with the strings. Dancers apply resin to their shoes to improve their grip on the stage. What is the economic impact of fungi? Fungi produce gallic acid, which is used in photographic developers, dyes, indelible ink. As well as in the production of artificial flavoring, perfumes, chlorine, alcohols, and several acids. Fungi are also used to make plastics, toothpaste, soap, and in the silvering of mirrors. In Japan almost 500,000 metric tons of fungus fermented soybean curd, tofu and miso, are consumed annually. Different strains of the rust fungus Puccinia graminus cause billions of dollars of damage annually to food and timber crops throughout the world. Why are fevers dangerous? Fever is usually an indication of bacterial or viral infection. While there is still debate about whether fevers actually speed up the body's inflammatory response to infection. There appears to be no clinical evidence that reducing fever slows healing. Approximately 4% of children between the ages of 3 months and 5 years experience febrile seizures. It has been commonly thought that high fevers in children could cause denaturation of central nervous proteins leading to seizures and possibly brain damage. However, the truth of that theory has not been fully determined. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this serious insect pest. Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies Compis luricincinata, a tachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls.
as well as spraying and male sterilization. What is Berkey's Manual of Determinative Bacteriology? Berkey's Manual of Determinative Bacteriology is an extensive reference manual used for bacterial classification. The first edition was published in 1923 under the sponsorship of the Society of American Bacteriologists. Organized in 1899 and now known as the American Society for Microbiology. This reference work was first conceived by David H. Bergey, 1860 to 1937, with the assistance of a special committee of the Society of American Bacteriologists chaired by Francis C. Harrison. The most recent edition was published in four volumes in 2001 under the name Berkey's Manual of Systematic Bacteriology. What types of tissue systems are found in plants? Vascular plants have three tissue systems, the vascular tissue system, the ground tissue system, and the dermal or epidermis tissue system. The tissue systems are found in all parts of the plant the roots, stem, and leaves. What is gene expression? Gene expression refers to the molecular product of a particular gene and is another way of describing the phenotype. The phenotype of an organism is a result of the chemical interactions that are guided by the DNA. Gene blueprint, for a specific polypeptide. What is the generation time for various bacteria? Generation time is defined as the time required for a bacterial population to double in its number. If a culture tube is inoculated with one cell that divides every 20 minutes, the total cell population will grow to two cells after a period of 20 minutes, and four cells after 40 minutes, the growth will continue at this rate. What is agar? Agar is a polysaccharide extract of red algae that is used as a solidifying material in microbiological media. Agar was developed as a culture media for bacteria by Robert Cook, 1843 to 1910. Cook was interested in the isolation of bacteria in pure culture. Because isolation was difficult in liquid media, he began to study ways in which bacteria could be grown on solid media. After sterile, boiled potatoes proved unsatisfactory, a better alternative was suggested by Fanny E. Hesse. 1850-1934, the wife of Walther Hesse, 1846-1911, to 
who was one of Cox's assistants. She suggested that agar, which she had used to thicken sauces, jams, and jellies, be used to solidify liquid nutrient broth. Agar is generally inexpensive and, once gelled, does not melt until reaching a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit 100 degrees Celsius. If 1 to 2 g of agar are added to 100 ml of nutrient broth, it produces a solid medium that is not degraded by most bacteria. What is the difference between a territory and a home range? A territory is a defended area. It can be as small as the space around a female red-winged blackbird's nest or as large as the backyard that your dog defends. A home range, in contrast, is simply the area where an animal spends its time. Home ranges may be shared with conspecifics. Members of the same species, and may overlap those of other species. How are biological rhythms correlated with animal behavior? A biological rhythm is a biological event or function that is repeated over time in the same order and with a specific interval. Biological rhythms are evident when an animal's behavior can be directly correlated to certain environmental features that occur at a distinct frequency. Biological clocks control animal behaviors such as when migration, mating, sleep, hibernation, and eating occur. What is meant by genetic discrimination? Genetic discrimination refers to the use of genetic information by health insurers and employers to determine eligibility. Set premiums, for health insurance, or hire and fire people. The U.S. Senate passed the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2003 on October 14. 2003 The Act establishes basic legal protections that will prohibit discrimination in health insurance and employment on the basis of predictive genetic information. It will fully protect the privacy of genetic information. What plants can be used to determine blood type? Lectins proteins that bind to carbohydrates on cell surfaces found in lotus plants. As well as jack and lima beans can be used to determine a person's blood type. Lectins bind to glycoproteins present on the plasma membrane of red blood cells. Because the cells of different blood types have distinct glycoproteins. Cells of each blood type bind to a specific lectin. What is a telomere?
At the end of eukaryotic chromosomes there lies a unique structure known as a telomere. Experiments have determined that without telomeres, the chromosome structure may be compromised. The DNA of the chromosome tends to stick to other pieces of DNA, and enzymes. Deoxyribonucleases, are more likely to degrade or digest the ends of the chromosomes. Human telomeres have specific repetitive DNA sequences. Tag, that may be repeated from 250 to 1500 times. How did Hugo de Vries demonstrate sympatric speciation? Hugo de Vries, 1848-1935, discovered a way in which a population could become a separate species while still sharing the same environment with other members of the species. The process, known as sympatric speciation, occurs almost exclusively in plants rather than in animals and involves a series of rare genetic accidents that can occur during the formation of gametes, eggs and sperm. As a result, gametes are formed as polyploids that is. They have extra copies of each chromosome and thus are unable to match their chromosomes to others of the same species. Since these polyploids are forced to mate only with other polyploids in the population, they are reproductively isolated and considered a new species. What is a genome? A genome is the complete set of genes inherited from one's parents. Genome sizes vary from one species to another. The final number for humans is yet to be determined. What is meant by the term polar molecule? Polar molecules have opposite charges at either end. Polar refers to the positive and negative sides of the molecule. If a molecule is polar, it will be attracted to other polar molecules. This can affect a wide range of chemical interactions, including whether a substance will dissolve in water. The shape of a protein, and the complex helical structure of DNA. Water is an example of a polar molecule. What is the evolutionary relationship between simple prokaryotic cells and the complex cells of eukaryotes? Mitochondria and chloroplasts have prokaryote-like features. For example, although most of the DNA in eukaryotic cells resides in the nucleus, both mitochondria and chloroplasts have DNA molecules in their inner compartments. Mitochondrial and chloroplastic ribosomes are similar to the ribosomes of prokaryotes. The endosymbion theory proposes that eukaryotic organisms evolved from prokaryotic ancestors. This idea supports the notion that organelles evolved from prokaryotic organisms that originally lived inside larger cells. 
eventually losing the ability to function as autonomous organisms. Which scientists made significant discoveries toward the theory of photosynthesis? The ancient Greeks and Romans believed that plants derived their food from the soil. The earliest experiment to test this hypothesis was performed by the Belgian scientist Jean-Baptiste van Helmont. 1577-1644, who grew a willow tree in a container of soil and fed it only water. At the end of five years, the weight of the willow tree had increased by 164 pounds. 74.4 kilograms, while the weight of the soil had decreased by 2 ounces, 57 gr. Van Helmont concluded the plant had received all its nourishment from the water and none from the soil. Joseph Priestley, 1733-1804, demonstrated that air was restored by plants. In 1771 Priestley conducted an experiment in which he placed a lighted candle in a glass container and allowed it to burn until extinguished by lack of oxygen. He then put a plant into the same chamber and allowed it to grow for a month. Repeating the candle experiment a month later, he found that the candle would now burn. Priestley's experiments showed that plants release oxygen. O2 and take in carbon dioxide, CO2, produced by combustion. The Dutch physician Jan Ingenhuis, 1730-1799, confirmed Priestley's ideas. Emphasizing that air is restored only by green plants in the presence of sunlight. Evidence of photosynthesis's two-stage process was first presented by F. F. Blackman. 1866 to 1947, in 1905. Blackman had identified that both a light dependent stage and a light independent stage occur during photosynthesis. In 1930, C. B. Van Neel, 1923 to 1977, became the first person to propose that water rather than carbon dioxide was the source of the oxygen that resulted from photosynthesis. In 1937 Robert Hill, 1899-1991, discovered that chloroplasts are capable of producing oxygen in the absence of carbon dioxide only when the chloroplasts are illuminated and provided with an artificial electron acceptor. Which fungus may have played a role in the Salem Witch Trials? The Salem Witch Hunts of 1692 may have initially been caused by an infestation of a microbiological poison. The fungus Claviceps purpurea, commonly known as rice mud, produces the poison ergot. When ingested, this poison produces symptoms similar to the ones that presented in the girls who accused others of being witches in Salem. Historians and biologists have reviewed environmental conditions in New England from 1690 to 1692 and have found that conditions were perfect for an occurrence of rice mud overgrowth. The weather conditions during those years were particularly wet and cool. Rye grass had replaced wheat as the principal grain because wheat had become 
seriously infected with wheat rust during long periods of cold and damp weather. The symptoms of ergot poisoning include convulsions, pinching or biting sensations. Stomach ailments, as well as temporary blindness, deafness, and muteness. When were the major classes of plant hormones identified and who is associated with their identification? Oxens Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, and his son, Francis, 1848-1925. Performed some of the first experiments on growth regulating substances. They published their results in 1881 in The Power of Movement in Plants. In 1926, Fritz W. Went. 1903 to 1990, isolated the chemical substance responsible for elongating cells in the tips of oat, genus Avena, seedlings. He named this substance auxin, from the Greek term auxin, meaning to increase. Gibberellins in 1926 the Japanese scientist Iaki Kurosawa discovered a substance produced by a fungus. Gibberella fujikuroi, that caused a disease, foolish seedling disease, in rice. Oriza sativa seedlings in which the seedlings would grow rapidly but appear sickly and then fall over. The Japanese chemists Tejiro Yabuta and Yasuksumaiki isolated the compound and named it gibberellin. In 1938, Cytokinin's Johannes van Overbeek discovered a potent growth factor in coconut. Coco's Nucifero, milk in 1941. In the 1950s Folky Skug, 1908-2001, was able to produce a thousandfold. Purification of the growth factor but was unable to isolate it. Carlos O. Miller, 1923, Skug. And their colleagues succeeded in isolating and identifying the chemical nature of the growth factor. They named the substance kinetin and the group of growth regulators to which it belonged cytokinins because of their involvement in cytokinesis or cell division. Ethylene Even before the discovery of auxin in 1926, ethylene was known to have effects on plants. In ancient times the Egyptians would use ethylene gas to ripen fruit. During the 1800s shade trees along streets with lamps that burned ethylene. The illuminating gas, would become defoliated from leaking gas. In 1901 Dmitry Neljabov demonstrated that ethylene was the active component of Illuminating gas. Abscisic acid Philip F. Waring discovered large amounts of A. Growth inhibitor in the dormant buds of ash and potatoes that he called dormin. Several years later in the 1960s, Frederick T. Adicott, 1912, reported the discovery in leaves and fruits of a substance capable of accelerating abscission that he called abscisin. It was soon discovered that dormin and abscisin were identical chemically. Do plant cells really produce oxygen? Yes. Plant cells produce oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. Splitting water molecules to harvest their electrons causes the release of oxygen. 
by submerging a small piece of an aquatic plant in a beaker containing water. One can actually see the oxygen bubbles produced. Species commonly used in genetics research How can one gene control another? One gene cannot actually control another gene, but one gene can mask the effect of another gene. This is called epistasis. For example, a gene in Labrador dogs controls deposition of melanin. The dominant allele B causes deposition of large amounts of melanin. A recessive allele B causes less deposition. So a BB or BB dog is black, while a BB dog is brown. Another gene controls whether or not melanin is deposited at all. This gene E allows deposition of melanin while the recessive form E does not. Therefore, an EE dog is yellow while an EE or EE dog is not yellow and has melanin. The interaction of two genes, the B and E genes, thus controls coloration in Labrador dogs. Are all large fungi shaped like mushrooms? The fruiting bodies of fungi come in a seemingly endless array of forms and colors. Many are variations on the familiar stalk and cap pattern of the common mushrooms sold in stores. Although some have minutes or bearing pores instead of gills on the undersides of their caps. Many fungi do not resemble mushrooms at all. Puffballs are solid fleshy spheres. Birds nest fungi form little cups containing eggs packed with spores. One kind of fungus looks like a head of cauliflower. And others resemble upright, branching clumps of coral. Some protrude from tree trunks like shelves, while others look like glistening blobs of jelly. What is the largest leech? Most leeches are between 75 in and 2 in, 2 and 6 centimeters, in length, but some medicinal leeches reach 8 in, 20 centimeters. The giant of all leeches is the Amazonian Hemantiria gilanii, from the Greek term hymateros. Meaning bloody, which reaches 12 in, 30 centimeters, in length. Do red blood cells function the same way in humans and insects? Insects don't have blood like ours, instead, their bodies contain a fluid known as hemolymph. Their hemoglobin is not concentrated in cells within the hemolymph, but rather is found floating in the hemolymph. An insect's hemoglobin still carries oxygen, but it is somewhat smaller than that found in mammals like humans. Squids, octopi, and crustaceans also have oxygen-carrying molecules in their plasma. But their bodies use a copper-based molecule known as hemocyanin to carry oxygen instead.
According to the most recent estimate, how many genes do humans have? As of April 2003 researchers estimated that building a human would require only about 24,500 genes. The mustard seed plant has about 25,000 and fruit flies about 13,000. When analysis of the draft human genome sequence was published in February 2001, there was estimated to be only about 30,000 to 40,000 protein coding genes. This number will probably fluctuate as applications of the HGP are implemented. Why are species of the genus Neurospora important? Pink bread molds of the genus Neurospora have long served as powerful laboratory models used to study genetics, biochemistry, and molecular biology. Scientists first demonstrated the concept that one gene produces a corresponding protein by studying Neurospora. Its ease of growth and the extensive genetic information available for this organism make it a convenient model for the study of many processes found in higher plants and animals. Among the fungi, it is second only to yeast as a basic model organism. Who introduced electrophoresis as an analytical technique? Electrophoresis was introduced in 1937 by Arndt Salius, 1902-1971. A Swedish biochemist. His work pioneered the use of electrophoretic methods to separate chemically similar proteins of blood serum. What is amber? Amber is the fossilized resin of trees. Resin is the sticky material often seen oozing from the trunk of a pine tree. Resin hardens as it dries and is the source of both turpentine and rosin. Resin comes primarily from cowrie pine forests. The translucent material emerges from trees and forms lumps that appear deep orange or yellow in color. These lumps may weigh up to 99 pounds 45 kilograms. The two major deposits of amber are in the Baltic region and the Dominican Republic. Amber has also been found in the central Appalachian region of the United States. Prehistoric insects have been so remarkably preserved in amber that the pieces still contain the insect's intact DNA. Amber is the only jewel of plant origin. Can mushrooms grow up overnight? A mushroom is only the fruiting body that is, reproductive structure of a much larger fungus body that grows unseen in rotting logs, rich humus, and dark, damp places. Many familiar mushrooms have fruiting bodies that are fleshy and umbrella-shaped. 
warm, damp weather triggers their sudden appearance. Usually first to be noticed are small, round button caps composed of densely packed hyphae. Soon after the outer covering ruptures, the stem elongates, and the cap enlarges to its full size. This entire process can indeed happen overnight. What are the largest human genetic databases? Genomics research on entire populations is an area that is rapidly expanding. In order to control access to genetic information and provide ethical guidelines for its use. Several countries have developed human genetic databases. Iceland and the United Kingdom have national genetic databases. While Canada and Sweden have regional databases. What are the parts of a flower? In a generalized flower, there are four main parts. Sepals found on the outside of the bud or on the underside of the open flower. They serve to protect the flower bud from drying out. Some sepals ward off predators by their spines or chemicals. Collectively, the sepals form the calyx. Petals serve to attract pollinators and are usually dropped shortly after pollination occurs. Collectively, the petals form the corolla. Stamen the male part of a flower consists of a filament and anther where pollen is produced. Pistil the female part of a flower consists of the stigma, style, and ovary containing ovules. After fertilization, the ovules mature into seeds. If a flower has all of these parts, it is called complete. If it lacks any of them, it is called incomplete. In terms of sexual reproduction in flowers, only stamens and pistils are necessary. Flowers with both structures are called perfect. But if they lack either one of the other they are called imperfect. How do you teach a parrot to talk? Teaching a parrot or cockatoo to talk involves a combination of repetition and reward. The owner or trainer reinforces proper vocalization by the bird with treats or laudatory language. What are cell junctions? Cell junctions are the specialized connections between the plasma membranes of adjoining cells. The three general types of cell junctions are tight junctions, anchoring junctions, and communicating junctions. Tight junctions bind cells together, forming a barrier that is leak-proof. For example, Tight junctions form the lining of the digestive tract, preventing the contents of the intestine from entering the body. 
anchoring, or adhering, junctions link cells together, enabling them to function as a unit and forming tissue. Such as heart muscle or the epithelium that comprises skin. Communicating, or gap, junctions allow rapid chemical and electrical communication between cells. They consist of channels that connect the cytoplasm of adjacent cells. How many eggs does a spider lay? The number of eggs varies according to the species. Some larger spiders lay more than 2,000 eggs. But many tiny spiders lay one or two and perhaps no more than a dozen during their lifetime. Spiders of average size probably lay a hundred or so. Most spiders lay all their eggs at one time and enclose them in a single egg sac. Others lay eggs over a period of time and enclose them in a number of egg sacs. Where did viruses originate? The most widely accepted hypothesis is that viruses are bits of nucleic acid that escape from cells. According to this view, some viruses trace their origin to animal cells. Some to plant cells, and others to bacterial cells. The variety of origins may explain why viruses are species-specific that is. Why some viruses only infect species that they are closely related to, or the organisms from which they originated. This hypothesis is supported by the genetic similarity between a virus and its host cell. What is artificial selection? Artificial selection is the selective breeding of organisms for a desired trait. Such as breeding a rose plant to produce larger flowers or a chicken to lay more eggs. Darwin cited artificial selection as evidence that species are not immutable that is. Unable to be changed by selection. When was DNA fingerprinting developed? Sir Alec Jeffries, 1950, a geneticist, developed DNA fingerprinting in the early 1980s. When he was studying inherited genetic variations between people. He was one of the first scientists to describe small DNA changes. Referred to as single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs. From SNPs, he began to look at tandem repeat DNA sequences. In which a short sequence of DNA was consecutively repeated many times. What wild flower was used by Native Americans to make red dye? Native Americans painted their faces and dyed their clothes red with the root of the bloodroot wild flower. Sanguinaria canadensis, 
which is also called Redrood, Indian paint, and Tetterwood. Bloodroot, found in shady, damp, and woodsy soils. Blooms in May and has white flowers that are 2 in, 5 cm, wide. Who made the first gene map? Although gene maps are a relatively recent, past 30 years, means of locating genes. Geneticists of the early 20th century had prototype gene maps. Edmund Beecher Wilson, 1856 to 1939, and his colleagues were the first to demonstrate that the Genetic differences between males and females were due to a special pair of chromosomes in the cell. Thomas Hunt Morgan, 1866 to 1945, Calvin Bridges, 1889 to 1938. And their colleagues were able to place a gene known to be inherited differently by males and females onto one of the sex chromosomes. This was the beginning of the first gene map. What is the most common gene deficiency? Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, G6PD is the most common human enzyme deficiency in the world. It is estimated that about 400 million people worldwide are affected by this disorder. The enzyme G6PD is carried on the X allele and is therefore referred to as an slink trait. It is more likely to affect males than females. G6PD is a critical enzyme that catalyzes the oxidation-slash-reduction reactions resulting in the production of NADF. NADF is a required cofactor in many cellular biosynthetic pathways. The stability of red blood cells is affected by G6PD deficiency. Since red blood cells are especially sensitive to oxidative stress, Clinical problems experienced by people with G6PD. Deficiency include neonatal jaundice and hemolytic anemia. What aspects of a cancer cell do most anti-cancer treatments target? Anti-cancer drugs attempt to slow down or stop the ongoing cell division that occurs in cancerous tissues. Treatment protocols include radiation, heat exposure, freezing, surgery, and slash or drug therapy. What is the function of root hairs? Root hairs increase the surface area of the root system, allowing the roots to absorb water and minerals more efficiently. In a study on one rye plant, it was estimated that the plant had approximately 14 billion root hairs, with an absorbing surface area of 480 sq yards, 401 sqm. If these root hairs were placed end to end, they would extend well over 6,214 miles 10,000 kilometers.
How did the dodo become extinct? The dodo became extinct around 1800. Thousands were slaughtered for meat, but pigs and monkeys which destroyed dodo eggs, were probably most responsible for the dodo's extinction. Dodos were native to the Mascarene Islands in the central Indian Ocean. They became extinct on Mauritius soon after 1680 and on. Reunion about 1750. They remained on Rodriguez until 1800. What fungus is associated with chemical warfare? Fusarium, a genus that is included in the group considered imperfect fungi, produces trichothesins, which are highly toxic substances that have been tested as agents of chemical warfare. Trichothesins are very hardy compounds that can survive autoclaving and do not degrade when exposed to light. They are relatively easy to produce and have been prepared as biological weapons. The toxin causes the chronic disease alimentary toxicolochia, ATA. Our malaria mushrooms have been shown to reduce hypertension. What is a stop codon? A stop codon signals the end of coding. Instead of a tRNA, with its amino acid in tow, a release factor matches the stop codon during translation. Causing the polypeptide to be released from the ribosome. It is interesting to note that the genetic code contains only one start codon but three stop codons. This means that a random DNA mutation is much more likely. To prevent successful protein synthesis then encourage it. How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe? A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. What is polymerase chain reaction? Polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, is a laboratory technique that amplifies or copies any piece of DNA very quickly without using cells. The DNA is incubated in a test tube with a special kind of DNA polymerase, a supply of nucleotides. And short pieces of synthetic, single-strand DNA that serve as primers for DNA synthesis. With automation, PCR can make billions of copies of a particular segment of DNA in a few hours. Each cycle of the PCR procedure takes only about 5 minutes. At the end of the cycle the DNA segment even one with hundreds of base pairs has been doubled. A PCR machine repeats the cycle over and over. PCR is much faster than the days it takes to clone a piece of DNA by 
making a recombinant plasmid and letting it replicate within bacteria. PCR was developed by the biochemist Carrie Mullis, 1944. In 1983 at Cetus Corporation, a California biotechnology firm. In 1993 Mullis, along with Michael Smith, 1932, won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for Development of PCR. DNA amplification is a method by which a small piece of DNA is copied thousands of times using PCR. DNA amplification is used in cloning, to detect small amounts of DNA in a sample. And to distinguish different DNA samples, as in DNA fingerprinting. What is a fruiting body? Macrofungi such as mushrooms and toadstools produce fruiting bodies. A fruiting body is a structure that enables the dispersal of spores for reproduction. It is the structure of a fungus that is visible above the ground. Fruiting bodies are found in a variety of shapes, ranging from the common cap and stem mushrooms to the more exotic. Antler-like, coral-like, cage-like, trumpet-shaped, or club-shaped mushrooms. The method of spore dispersal for the various types of macrofungi is related to the shape of the fruiting body. What is the role of yeast in beer production? Beer is made by fermenting water, malt, sugar, hops, yeast, species Saccharomyces spp. Salt, and citric acid. Each ingredient has a specific role in the creation of beer. Malt is produced from a grain usually barley that has sprouted. Been dried in a kill, and ground into a powder. Malt gives beer its characteristic body and flavor. Hops is made from the fruit that grows on the herb Humulus lupulus, a member of the mulberry family. The fruit is picked when ripe and is then dried, this ingredient gives beer a slightly bitter flavor. Yeast is used for the fermentation process. Making beer is a complex process. One method begins by mixing and mashing malted barley with a cooked cereal grain such as corn. This mixture, called wort, is filtered before hops is added to it. The wort is then heated until it is completely soluble. The hops is removed, and after the mixture has cooled, yeast is added. The beer ferments for 8 to 11 days at temperatures that range between 50 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees and 21 degrees Celsius. The beer is then stored and kept at a state that is close to freezing. During the next few months the liquid takes on its final character before carbon dioxide is added for effervescence. The beer is then refrigerated, filtered, and pasteurized in preparation for bottling or canning. Which organelle divides and compartmentalizes the cell? The endomembrane system which fills the cell and divides it into compartments. 
and is visible only through electron microscopy. The endoplasmic reticulum, ER, a series of interconnected membranous tubes and channels in the cytoplasm, is the largest and most extensive system of the internal membranes. What is mycorrhiza? Symbiosis is the close association of two or more different organisms. One type of symbiosis is known as mutualism. Defined as an association that is advantageous to both parties. The most common and possibly the most important mutualistic symbiotic relationship in the plant kingdom is known as mycorrhiza. The word mycorrhiza is derived from the Greek words mykes, meaning fungus, and rhiza, meaning root. Mycorrhiza is a spechalized, symbiotic association between the roots of plants and fungi that occurs in the vast majority of plants both wild and cultivated. In a mycorrhizal relationship, the fungi assist their host plants by increasing the plant's ability to capture water and essential elements such as phosphorus, zinc, manganese, and copper from the soil, and transfer them into the plant's roots. The fungi also provide protection against attack by pathogens and nematodes. In return for these benefits, the fungal partner receives carbohydrates, amino acids, and vitamins essential for its growth directly from the host plant. Basidiomycetes, mushrooms, bracket fungi, etc., are the fungal. Mycorrhizal partners of trees and other woody plants. Zygomycetes, molds, etc., are the fungal partners of non woody plants. It has been estimated that mycorrhizal fungi amount to 15% of the total weight of the world's plant roots. Why are there so many flies in the summer? Another way to ask this question would be, what is an opportunistic species? Species have evolved two general strategies for success in life. Either they specialize in adaptations that allow them to survive the boom and bust cycles within the environment or they concentrate their efforts in taking advantage of short-term opportunities to succeed. Species utilizing these two strategies have various names including opportunist and equilibrium species. Opportunists move into newly opened habitats, for example. As dandelions overwhelm spring lawns, and reproduce rapidly with abandon. Other common examples of opportunistic species include insect species, like mosquitoes and flies that save their reproductive efforts to exploit. Advantageous changes in their habitat like a hard rain or fresh roadkill. When conditions are just right, these species go full tilt from mere existence to population explosion. Which explains why fly populations boom so suddenly in the summer. How do antibiotics destroy an infection?
Antibiotics function by weakening the cell wall or interfering with the protein synthesis or RNA synthesis of the bacterial cell. For example, penicillin weakens the cell wall to the point that the internal pressure causes the cell to swell and eventually burst. Certain antibiotics are more effective against gram-negative bacteria while others are more effective against gram-positive bacteria.